What's good? What's really good? Welcome to Iron Therapy. My name is Coach Joel. Today I'm going to be covering the banded pull apart. Now this is a simple exercise. It doesn't require some insane tutorial, but I will tell you that as a trainer, I've seen this exercise butchered seven ways from Sunday, and today I'm going to help you do it right. As a quick note up front, the goal of this movement is to warm up scapular retraction. It also engages the, the rotator cuff, the back of the shoulders, but what we want is a smooth ability to bring the shoulder blades toward each other. So when you bring your arm away from your midline, when you abduct the arm, you're going to feel that that shoulder blade ticks in. Scapular retraction is a big freaking deal. You might not think it's a big deal because it seems like a small insignificant thing, but if you can't do it, good luck having shoulders when you're 70. So lock in, pay attention to the details, let's do this right. Take a band. Remember with resistance bands, the farther apart your hands are, the easier the movement is. So progressions with bands can just be as simple as taking your hands closer together. Try to find a band where you can get relatively close to the middle of the band because the farther you go to the outside, the less resistance you have at the beginning of the exercise. You're essentially reducing the amount of the range of motion that you'll have to produce force against. So you want a band where you can comfortably bring your hands towards the middle of the band and still pull against it. The big thing here is that if we're trying to retract the shoulder blades, we can't be dropping the shoulders into internal rotation. So if you're doing a pull apart and your shoulders have to slump forward, you're essentially defeating the purpose and you actually might cause more harm than good. So when we're doing pull aparts, start with, your, with the band about even with your eyes and then push your hands out with a very slight bend in the elbows and maintain that bend and then push out and bring it down towards the baseline of your chest or your nipples. But you'll notice here that as I go out, my chest opens into the movement because my back works inverse of my front. So if my shoulders roll over and my shoulder blades open, my chest collapses. But if my chest opens, my shoulders have to collapse behind me. And that's really the goal here is to get the chest open and the shoulder blades to cleanly retract. The other mistake people make is they move their elbows. So this joint has nothing to do with, the, with what I'm trying to do behind me. So if you're doing this exercise and your elbows are bending and snapping through the movement, you're really just firing the triceps because you have too much resistance and you don't have the strength to push your hands out against it and use the middle of your back to actually perform the exercise properly. All right, so band and pull aparts, not super complex, but these little details, if you can incorporate them, make the movement far more effective, especially when you're trying to warm up for big movements like bench press. You wanna do this right, and you want the patterns to set you up for success on those big exercises. If you've been doing it wrong, now you can do it right. You're welcome! <laughs>